Welcome to Module 4, Lesson 3. Today, we will be learning how to model tiling with centimeter and inch unit squares as a strategy to measure area. We are learning this so that we can understand area. And we'll know that we're successful when we can use tiles to determine the area of a rectangle. What is tiling? To tile, or tiling, is to cover a region without gaps or overlaps. Remember, there should be no gaps and no overlaps. So which of these sets of squares are tiled? Let's look at set A. I notice it has gaps. And to be tiled, it must have no gaps and no overlaps. So set A is not tiled. Set B seems to be showing all of each square with no gaps or overlaps. So I'm thinking maybe it's set B. But first, let's look at set C. Okay, so I'm noticing that all of the squares are not completely showing. It looks like they're overlapped, so it's not set C. Yes, it's set B because the units are tight together but have no overlaps. How many square units do you see in each set? Yes, both sets have six square units. One square has an area of one square centimeter. So what is the area of each of these figures? To find the area, we would count the number of squares. So this figure has six squares. So we can say that it has six square centimeters. This figure has one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So it too has six square centimeters. One square has an area of one square centimeters. What is the area of the figure now? Well, it looks like one square was taken out. So now there are one, two, three, four, five squares. So what is the area? Yes, the area would be five square centimeters. In this figure, one square has an area of one square inch. What is the area of the figure? Answer, six square inches. What is the area of the figure now? There are one, two, three, four square units, and each square unit is one square inch. What is the area? Four square inches. Okay, it's time for your redraw right question. Each tile is a square unit. 
write the area of rectangle A, then draw a different rectangle with the same area. Do your very best work, then look in the description box below to compare your answer to the correct answer. And we'll see you in the next lesson.